2000, like screaming behind you. What's that like? And then the second thing I have too is, do you feel like your pass rush is, is elite um, at this point? Um, my answer, I answer the second one. No, I don't feel like my pass rush is elite. I, you know, we try to get better every day. We try to use, we try to watch. I don't watch 100 percent all of the NFL clips of the pass rushes of the wins and the losses of the week. And that's why I try to learn from and to get better, because if you think you're elite at something, then you're not. So you got to keep going and keep getting better. And what was your um, second, first question? Um, so I was just saying, like, can you tell me, like, kind of you guys as a, like, as a defensive front, like, what are you guys kind of thinking when you guys get that momentum, when you get the 92,000 behind you, you're kind of blocked in under your element. Like, what's the whole, what's the whole moment like? I mean, that whole moment on that first, third, last, third down, any other third downs, you just feel that whole crowd, the whole place just erupting and everyone focused and just being as loud as they can to distract them and move them. And I mean, every time we either do any time our stems, our moves, and it's jumping, they're not jumping because we're moving, they're jumping because it's so loud. It's, people can't hear, you can't hear the snap count. And all you have to do for you and the offensive player, he has to focus on the ball as well. And he got to focus on the ball and move backwards, though. So, I mean, that that place is just electrifying. And I absolutely love our stadium. And I love playing between the hedges. Okay, we'll go to Brian Dennis and then Chip Hey, Nolan, obviously with the Z's going off to, uh, you know, the NFL last year, I guess that's probably one of the players you, you watch uh, in the NFL. But uh, what type of responsibility did you take you know, coming into this year to fill his shoes and, and just get the unit as a whole to, to you know, kind of take off like y'all have so far this year? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I tried to fill his shoes. I 100% believe in being myself. You know, um, Coach Cochran is one of, my, one of my guys that I talk to every day, and he just tells me, you know, be yourself, be you. You know, you're an energy guy. There's no point of being someone else. So I just love being myself, pushing my guys, pushing my team, you know, every day. Even though if I don't make a play, someone else makes a play. You got to get excited for your brother. And I'm 100% one of those guys. I just love getting excited for my brother. And when they make a play, it feels like I make a play. I mean, everything's just, I don't know how to say it. I can't explain it to you, man. You got to be a part of that 11 to feel that, man. Yeah, Nolan, uh, certainly a, a great performance uh, just to get the win, number one. but. You know, you guys also, you gave up some long balls today. You gave up the first touchdown of the season. Uh, you know, what what was the general takeaway on how you guys play? Getting the win is the most important thing, but I know you, you guys are always talking about a standard, and I'm assuming that came a little bit short on that today. Yeah, I mean, the standard is the standard, like you said, and it's a standard that we must hail at the University of Georgia, you know, and that's our standard, what we believe in. Now, on the other hand, as far as we go to the doctor on Monday and when we go to the doctor, you know, the doctor tell you what's wrong, what's right, what you need to do better. So on, on Monday, you know, we sit down and we be grown men and our coaches tell us what we did wrong, what we could do better and how we can fix it. And that's the whole point of being player coaches, all that relationship. You know, if he can't tell me if I'm doing something wrong, then, you know, what is he there for? Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Jen May and then Paul Newberry. Yeah, Nolan, y'all obviously, you know, you had safety there at the end of the first half and you come out in the second half, get two turnovers, a lead touchdowns. You know, one, how much is that type of thing emphasized in practice? And two, just how much satisfaction does it give you, you know, scoring points yourselves, creating points for the offense, all that kind of thing? I mean, 100 percent momentum, you know, momentum swings. It's, it's a big momentum game. You know, football is just all about momentum swings. And once that momentum goes to swing, you're at home and between the hedges. It just feels like no one can stop you. I, like I tell, like I told the other person, you know, you have to be a part of that 11 on the field, hearing that crowd roar and yell, and you just believing in the call and the confidence of the whole team, the whole 11, just playing all this one, man, moving as one band, one sound, and it's just a beautiful thing. You know, Nolan, um, I'm curious, you know, giving up, y'all you know, nearly made it through a third straight game without giving up a touchdown. I mean, what is it when you see <laughs> – you know, the other team finally gets to the end zone against you guys. Uh, you know, it didn't really have any impact on the game, but make y'all mad? Or what, is, what do you do when you see the, the, a team finally scoring on you? I mean, of course, that, that upsets us. You know, the standard is the standard. I don't care if it's fourth quarter, first quarter, second quarter. The standard is the standard no matter what throughout. 
So we say no one in our end zone. That's what we mean. No one in our end zone, not at any point of the game. Okay, we will go to Mike Griffin, Griffith, and then Jake Rowe. Yeah, no, and I, what do you do during the during these when there's night games and you got to kill time during the day? I don't know. Did, did you watch any football earlier today? Yeah, 100 percent. You know, I went to IMG, so I got friends playing from all over. So I watched sit there and watch football all day, man. I'm cheering for my boys just like I cheer for my boys on the team. But shout out to my boy Noah at Penn State, man. You know, he had a big day today and they won at the whiteout. And I guess I would just ask you this. I, I know it's one game at a time for Georgia, but you feel like you guys are playing as well as anybody right now that you're seeing on TV? No, no. A hundred percent. We got to play. We got to play better, clean football, you know, no penalties, you know, have composure, a lot of discipline things, you know. But like I say, every Monday we go see the doctor, see what we can do, see what we can do better, see what we did good and see how we can get better each week, you know. Um, Nolan, when it, when it comes to the run defense, um, you know, I know you guys really didn't leak much until late, but um, what, finishing and, and those types of things, how much, how much do you guys put into that and, and understand that sometimes that, that you may get off to a quick start, but it's, it is, you know, that, that finishing part is about the standard. Yeah, I, I 100% say, like you said, we just have to understand the standards, the standard, you know, from the first quarter to the fourth quarter, the standard held true throughout, you know, as long as you wear that G on your chest and on your helmet and you're in between, in between those hedges, you know, you have to hell a standard on defense. And that's how we play. And Coach Smart holds us to that standard. That's why I came here. That's why a lot of guys came here. We know on defense, Coach Smart is going to push us and hold us to a standard, and that's what we want. We have time for one more question for Nolan. We'll open it up. Um, no, I mean, on the pass rush, I mean, when do you guys reach a point where you guys kind of realize what you guys can do when you guys kind of feel like, hey, like this really has potential to be like a to be like a f force of our team and they all can kind of j j just kind of rely on the pass rush on the defensive end. I mean, I, I I honestly don't ever feel like that. I don't ever feel like we need to just rely on the pass rush. You know, like I said, we all move in one piece, one unit. So the rush and the coverage has to work together. So if the coverage is great, then the rush has to be great. That's how we equivalent to so much sacks. No one's talking about our coverage in the back end being amazing. You know, those guys running with guys and, you know, jamming them off the line and stuff. So we just always say rush and coverage work together. And that's what we've been doing, you know, for the past three games. Okay, thank you, Noah.